Lightweight K1 contest between Haley Heather fighting out the red corner and Kai Manni fighting out of the blue corner. So you start from Heather here. Yeah. Commentators myself, Stephen Gibbons and Kai Evans. It's a furious start of the contest. We fight to just stand and trade in shots. Contest sponsored by Ante Garage. This is the work you want to see in K1. Nice and busy. Both of these girls are obviously willing to trade here as well. It's interesting, all the contests we've watched so far, it's just been mainly kicking, whereas this has been both fighters are favouring the punch. But the thing with K1, CP run, everything scores the same. There we go. As the ref's explaining now, this is Stephen Gifford. You know, catch the kick, but you've got a drop, and then one strike. Or if you've got the leg, one strike, release. A nice right hand from Hanley. Big swing and a miss. A good one-two one two from uh, Heather. As I mentioned, the key run uh, earlier on. Hayley Heather actually fought on a celebrity boxing card a few months ago. She fought a decorated tie box and took with a distance. So she's no stranger to stand-up striking, even though she's predominantly a grappler in an MMA career. Oh, lovely left up there. These girls ain't coming to play, Keegan. Oh, no, it's a really well-matched contest. Both fighters have had their moments. This is really good from uh, Manley, but uh, Haley Heather also had their moments in that round, the really close round. Yeah. It's how gonna are going to be tight throw with three scoring judges. Yeah, how are you going to score that? Because the... Um, oh. Sorry, the referee is just having a word with... Uh, the spinning back fits in Amateur K1. Manley's corner. Yeah. Yeah, as so, I was saying, you, how would you score that? Because they were both aggressive, they were both throwing the same amount of shots. I guess I it's just the small little details, I guess, the, the judges are looking for, or, or do we just score it uh, an even round 10-10? Yeah. I know, generally speaking, it's, it's frowned upon, but yeah. um, if you really can't split them, I, mean, I guess that's the way you've got to go. Yeah, you don't, you don't tend to see many people score 10-10, but... I think the cleaner strikes was from Hayley Heather there, but the more powerful shots were by uh, uh, our Danish lady over here in the blue corner. Manly. I guess that's the, that's the conundrum of scoring combat sports. It's, it's work rate over power. Where do you get the balance? Yeah. Whereas Pro K1, aggression gets scored also. Oh, lovely right hand from Manly. Manly looks like she's planting her feet a lot more than Heather, who's moving around a lot. Yeah, she's got a lot, lot bigger frame as well. Boy, oh, lovely slip there. Lovely defensive skills from Heather. Switch the shot and countered. She's so game. She's coming forward, no matter what you throw her. God, me here. I'd like to see a bit of guard, man. <laughs> Two concussion checks after this fight, let me tell you. 
Hayley Heather, originally from Wrexham in North Wales, now living in and training in South Wales. And the action's been non-stop in this contest, hasn't it? Yeah. Manley's just powering through. Look at the difference. Yeah, she's just trundling forward, isn't she? The... Yeah. It's a slight back fist there, eh? What a hammer fist, Tony. I think it's starting to wear on it, really, I don't know. But she's still throwing back. It's a three-round contest. This round lasted two minutes. Oh, nice right hand from uh, Lily Heather. Heather. Well, and again. Another excellent round. I'm glad I'm commentating and not judging this, Kieran. <laughs> well, that was my next question, is uh, in who, who did Manly, the, the, the fighter from Denmark, did she do enough to win that round? I, mean, I, she, she... I would say, yeah. I, I'd say she threw the more power shots, the more accurate shots. She kept coming forward. But then Hayley Hare that keeps trumping her as well. Then she'll come back with her own combos and have a good couple of seconds. It's just a nightmare to score this fight is. Yes. But I think even from a fitness standpoint, Hayley Heather looks a lot more tired than Manley does. So I has she got this last round in her, in her arse now? Has yeah, she got Heather, she's been bouncing around a lot, hasn't she? Whereas uh, Manley's been just, just planting her feet a lot more. Yeah. So third and final round of this contest. Lightweight K1. Sponsored by Pante Garage. All the best with the judges scoring this. We think it's very close. Aggressive start of the round from Hayley Heather. Didn't we expect anything less? <laughs> and for the first time in the contest, he's actually pushing back Manly. Yeah. This is really good. Oh, Lovely right, right hand. And, and again. again. Is Manly hurt? She might be. And the yeah, referee jumps in for a count. Fight, yeah. What a start of the round from Hayley Heather, responding to her trainer's instructions. The thing we got here now, we could be in for a draw and she doesn't start here, or it depends how the judges see it. Nice right hand again, and again. This is great stuff from Heather. She's in a little bit of trouble wow. here now, stuck She's on the side defending. of the cage. And again. And the referee jumps in again for a second count of the round. Wow, what a response from Hayley Heather. Who could have predicted this? But you could have, this simply couldn't happen. Now questions have been asked to Manly. How much fighting spirit has she got? She smiles at the referee. Smiling's not good enough, mind. You need to fight. No win points for go. smiling. She's putting the pressure on, she's not responding again. Now she is. God. What a contest. She's a bite down on that gum shield and she's gone. One more, and she's fighting one more count is done. There's still plenty of time left in the round as well. But there we go, a response. God, this is what we... And she's getting pushed back again, Kieran. Yeah, Heather landing more really good shots. So impressed by the way Hayley Heather's responded oh, to this big round. Right Big 10 seconds. What a great round this has been. Both slugging it out now. Look at them go. These two warriors. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. Who could have predicted that fight? I mean, you, you were questioning, I think your words were something along the lines of, has she got a, a big third round in her? The answer is yes. Yeah, she had a big third round. Wow, so impressed from both fighters. I mean, I'm not religious, but Jesus courage. Christ, that was mad. <laughs> What a fight. And the referee just looked down at us here and raised his eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> what a fight. And uh, we just got to wonder now how, how the judges have it, have it. Like you say, I mean, those two standing counts. Yeah, there's only one one score now. That, that would go 10-7 if I'm right. If I'm right. Yeah. That would mean Ailey Heller won the fight. Over to our MC, Ricky Wright.
Before I announce the official decision, last year for both Warriors, what an excellent contest. One cheer in the Eternal Kings. The ladies will be showing the men just how it's done. We're after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We scored about 29-25, 29-27 and 29-26. All three in favour of your worldwide unanimous decision. In the red corner, here we go.